You're now listening to Sleep Time Silver. Sleep Time is over, baby. Listen up, everybody, as you tune to this podcast. Sleep Time's over, come closer to get the raw facts. Zach Moore's hosting on the show, for sure. We're pulling the line from the wide, that's a dump, you know. Talking reminiscing about the good old days in the now. Sipping on that old fashioned at the room at high brow. We on location worldwide on your stereo tech. On your phone, on the pad, but guaranteed on fresh. Reviewing music and the nuisance that the media makes. Forgot the blueprint with the newness that the people will take. Good old America. Ain't ready for the island of slang See time is over, give a toast up to the Man Heavily bent, peep my mission Have the chicks tripping in the air Hey, friends! Yeah! yeah. Alright, welcome to Sleep Time's Over Hey, good to see you all, glad y'all came out It's the Halloween edition uh, Tonight's guest, Lau Paka, is gonna be here to tell us some ghost stories We also have from Skull and Crown, a good friend No! Hey, Sky Cameron hey, Good to see ya Right on. This guy's doing good things over here on the spin tables. Appreciate those bellies. Yeah. Oh, well. Anyways, your host tonight, DJ Zach Morris. Bring him on out, guys. Give him a round of applause. The return of Ja Harden. You remember who I am, man? Ja Harden. I've been here, man. This show. Tristan Thompson. That's the last thing I said last time. Out. What the bumble clock? This is Ja Harden. I the reggae rocket. I wear the colors of Joai. Yes. From the mountain to the ocean. Yes. Lord of mercy. Freeze you from Kailua. I don't know much about the Kailua <laughs> because there's plenty of holy people there. I don't know where they go. I agree. But I am back. Finally. Only fitting. I come back on, Jawai hasn't been talked about on this show, sports hasn't been talked about on this show, about time I come back on, bummer clock. Lord of mercy. <laughs> Lord of mercy. <laughs> it's really weird to talk with this. Yeah. <laughs> now, I didn't go that far when I was talking about, you know, the, 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 uh, the mustache beard thing. It, it does, it factors in. It does, it does. So we'll see how long I keep this on before I just say screw it. It's the Halloween show, it's everyone. It's the Halloween show. This? Hey. I tell you, and... Episode 142 of the program we call Sleep Time's Over. This is actually the one-year anniversary of doing the show here at this establishment. That's right. That's the right. The Highbrow Room. And, and the same guest on the, on the one-year anniversary. The same guest last year. Go figure. We have Lopaka coming back. And the last time he was here, it was dark. It was like three of us in here. It was you. It was four of us, technically, right? Like it The was Lord was here. Some other broad was here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And we were in pitch black, and he showed up, and he didn't know what to make of it. He's, he's going to be a little surprised this time around, I think. Yeah. Yes. Lopaka Kapanu. We got, a, we got an audience here. We got people dressed up. We got Give people, it up yes, for you. In, in how dressed we, up uh, we, got, we, have people, we have people from what they call the industry. It's uh, the industry. It's a thing. And they're, they're here. Yep. Shout out to everybody. Uh, we took kind of like a week break because of, <laughs> I guess we wanted to build this special Monday night show. Yes. So we don't usually do the show on Monday nights. We do it on Tuesday. So we took the week break off, and here we are continuing in October. Shout out to everyone on, of course, iTunes, Spotify. Shout out to iHeartRadio. Shout out to, oh, and we, we can't forget the Hot Sauce Challenge. We were on Twitch. That's right. Everybody on Fortnite, <laughs> all piss off. We're on Twitch. The nerds, they don't know what to do. They're ready to, you know, they don't know whether to watch or masturbate. So then we, we got we to decide. So we're on that now, and uh, the, the, the viral, it just continues on. Right, Freeze. How did you? Uh, what's your thoughts? Uh, DJ Freeze is here. DJ hey, Freeze yeah. is here. What's up, yo? That's right. Straight out, out of Crystal Lake. Freeze. Straight out of Crystal Lake. Champ Crystal Map. And Freeze, you enjoy, did you enjoy the hot sauce uh, challenge? I did not. No, fuck it, right? Yeah. I mean, no, I enjoyed the company, but that's it. Was well, stupid, you know, so. it was pretty bad. The wings were good. Shout out Vons. Shout out, Shout out Vons. Vons. Shout out. Koreans make the best wings. They do make some good chicken wings. Yes. Right. And uh, after that, it was all downhill. Uh, Shout out to the Lord. Torres, can we say that? I don't even. Hey, I was outside. Hey. Lord, if you said that, I was outside. I don't know. Okay, but shout out to the Lord because he almost died that night. He did. I, I think he, he did. He was gonna die. I think he died and came back. That's good. Much like Halloween, so that took place on Twitch. 
we have that going on. Shout out to uh, everyone that checked that out. And here we are, the Halloween episode. A lot of scary stuff. You know, and w when we discuss scary things, here we go, it's our first sound bite. <laughs> so Sky, you know, and Sky Cameron is here, of course, the man that is seen, but will be seen today, hey. tonight possibly, because we have like a lot of camera angles yes, now, a lot of angles. So yeah, angles. shout out Pornhub. And then we're gonna do that, <laughs> and we're gonna hopefully get you on the air. All right, hopefully. But on top of that, we, we gotta shout out something that, um, along with the, uh, the hot sauce challenge, along with our guest tonight that we're gonna have to talk about, we're gonna talk about, you know, a lot of spooky stuff going on. Mm -hmm. But let's talk about true spooky things. And we, let's establish that for right now. Like, what really makes you scary? What, what, what really makes things scary? What really gets you scared? What, are, this, what, are, what are my biggest fears? What are my biggest phobias? Are we starting general. with me or are we starting with you? Well, let, let's talk about in general because when we talk about scary things, let's talk about things such as unemployment. Let's talk about things such as getting a girl pregnant when you're not supposed to. Oh, yeah. Brain aneurysms, all yep. right? STDs. STDs, pink slips. Yep. I mean, that is true. Getting attacked by a shark. That's one of mine. That's what I don't go into What water. you do in your private time is your own business. <laughs> but I'm just saying when you, you, you think about scary things, you think about trying to you know, restart your life at 40. Shout out to people that are Jeez. over 40. <laughs> Where did that one come from? Midlife crisis? I'm not talking to you, Freeze. I'm just saying, attacked. you know, thinking about attacked. going back to college, you know, you're at 35, you know, because yeah. 40 is the cutoff. If you Coming from a 40-year-old man with a beard. Yeah. <laughs> the yeah. I'm wearing this. Chin strap yeah. beard. <laughs> shout, out to, shout out to this <laughs> shit. So when you, when you talk about unemployment, when you talk about problems, when you talk about pregnancy, STD, going back to KCC, these are true scary things. So, so is let's that, establish is this, that. Is, so is this okay. the, your is this the new concept for your haunted house? It's all real life horrors. Like right. you turn the corner okay. and there's a girl's like I'm pregnant, and there's another <laughs> there's another corner. You turn around, okay, and the doctor's like, you got herpes. You got the herpes. You got herpes. <laughs> Sky, can I just say this? All right, there's gonna be a million Halloween specials out there. All right, oh. a million guys are gonna talk about Halloween and ghosts and goblins and all kind of phantasms. All I'm saying is. Let's talk about what truly gets people scared. You know what scares me? When you drive in and there's a police officer behind you and you never do nothing wrong. You but see? You scared as hell. That's scarier than Hellraiser. That's scarier <laughs> than you know, Blair Witch. Okay? <laughs> Seeing the cops, all right? At the, uh, what, what do you call it? The DUI checkpoint. What am I to do, right? I don't go out late, so that's... <laughs> Freeze, that's, uh, that's your department. Yeah, no so, fun, no fun. I'm just saying, I just want to establish that right now. We're going to try to be a different show. We're going to try to be a different Halloween show. We're going to talk about real life scary things going on. Waking up while you're uh, waking up from anesthesia during surgery. That's and maybe not coming out of anesthesia. Maybe you get oh. an anesthesia and you got to go get your molars taken out and then you don't come out and then there that's it. Scary stuff, right? All, all, all freaky. Deaky. Waking up at three in the morning wondering if I'm going to get a job. Wondering <laughs> if I'm going to, if that... Uh, uh, Shop owner is going to call me back for that second interview. Going to jail in Mexico. Ooh. Once again, what you do in your <laughs> spare time is up to you, but I'm just talking about real things going on. Locked just, up abroad. Oh, All right. Happy Halloween, everyone. Episode 142. A lot of spooky of, stuff. Uh, this really doesn't Ooh. work. Right. So, Sky, what, what, kind of, what kind of news we got? Do we have any Halloween-esque things going on here? Well, we uh, well there, I mean, there wasn't no, we were basically going to talk about, like, what is the current state in 2019 of trick-or-treating? Trick-or-treating is dead. That's only like it's a gone, call them right? All, right? It's gone right now. Kids, uh, parents don't let their kids go out anymore, right? Not even call them all. I mean, they can go to the mall. They but go to Pearl Ridge. What's that? the mall, the mall like now? You know. Well, you remember we, when we were kids? I mean, we we're old, obviously. So like, we'd get we'd get our basket, we get our bag of candy, we go out, and we're gallivanting for blocks and blocks. I mean, I remember we were out for like four or five hours, blocks. man. I don't know about what? we cover the whole Milani, man. We That's your central walk side, bro. Well, let me tell you something. What we do in Makiki, we just go a couple of houses, get out of there. That's all oh. we do. And then we go home, watch uh, VH1 had Night of the Living Dead every night, every night when I was uh, in grade school. <laughs> you see, I was a latchkey child, and I would, my mom was, here's another scary story. My mom was always working. So on Halloween night, I would always be home by myself, and I would always be watching Night of the Living Dead. So as a latchkey kid, did you, did you have fears that, that, that a burglar was going to break into the house when you were in the house? No, because I was in a condo. Oh, okay. Nobody breaks into condos. <laughs> Back in the early 90s. So, yeah. <laughs> So just you know, shout out to condo life, but that that's really much all. So I guess you had a. So more you never you never family. trick or treated, yeah? I trick or treated all through elementary school, and yes, me, me and all the friends we dress up and go out, walk around, and we'd be out for like three, four hours, man. Yeah, that's bro. too long. They give out iPads in Kailua, so I definitely. And we would always like iPads in Kailua. Was this ninety two? What is he oh, talking yeah. about? No, now. Do you not iPads right now? No, I trick or treat now. 
Wow. I never heard of anything of that nature. But then we didn't they get they're a separate town, so I don't know what they're doing over there. But I don't recall being out that long. For yeah, we were training. out from like 5 o'clock until like 9 o'clock. It's like a work shift. On, I don't yeah. know what you're doing. Yeah, and we'd come back and we'd have the huge bag of candy. And I guess maybe because Milani was just like a safe, boring suburb. It's know, a family uh, yeah. family town. I what, think what that's what probably what it was. So. What about top candies? What kind of candies would you uh, bring home? You know, I always like the more, you know, the classics, right? Snickers, Kit Kat. Yep, you all know, day. Back in the day, it was all day. nutrageous. I don't know if you remember oh, a, a candy with the silver wrapper. It's called Chunky. Chunky, yeah, you remember I this one? Vaguely it's remember peanuts, this one, yes. Raisins, milk chocolate. See, I raisins, know. you shut me I off know, of that. But right. no Everyone eating raisins. chocolate covered raisins. No one under 10 is eating raisins. Come on. I don't know. I, I, Forget. Kind of, I kind of was into it. Well, what about like a whatchamacallit? Remember yeah, that? Yeah, whatchamacallit was great. Was it was like bar, a wafer, right? right? It was a wafer. It was something. And then you had uh, Klondike bars. Was that no, the kids? Klondike was a straight up ice cream bar. People would give you ice cream? Klondike bars. What would you do with a Klondike bar? It's like a minty chocolate thing. Room temperature, you get this thing. Oh, yeah, yeah. You don't yeah, remember? Yeah. Freeze, you know this. No, Klondike bar ice cream. You're talking about some I, other I think Klondike is not talking about ice cream. cream. I'm talking about candy, man. I think you were hanging out by yourself. In Klondike ice cream. I want and you guys, Google that right now. It's a circular thing. You got an iPad. What about circular <laughs> thing. You log it in and you look up Klondike bar. All right? Industry people, York, York Pepper York Patty. Patty. I think you're mixing Pepper that up. Is that yeah. a different thing? I think you're mixing those. Well, I stand oh, correct. Really. It's a Halloween show. I I'm think upset. you're having an aneurysm on, ha- on See the Halloween See how scary this can right be? Now. Lopaka, get ready. We got something to tell you. Oh, I'm just saying. Okay, so it's a York Peppermint Patty. Right, but then we, we talked about the candies that we hated. Candy corn was bullshit, right? Nobody uh, ate candy getting corn. Getting sun-made raisins, right? Well, I like the chocolate raisins raisins. Raisins. No one's getting raisins in Halloween time. No, right? I don't know what you're talking about right now. I would get, sometimes I go to the house and get floss. They give us floss. <laughs> what are you talking about? Yeah, right? they give us like a, a little kid's oh, toothbrush. What is this? Is this like Milani? What, that was Milani, man. A lot of dentists. A lot of dentists. It's not White Kelly? <laughs> All right, well. Besides yeah. that, I mean, there's also Dr. Miyashiro, DDS. <laughs> Noted. What, what kind of? What, let's look at what are the movies you you watching back in the day. So, um, I, I I was gonna ask you, what was the first movie you can remember from childhood that that scared the shit out of you that you can remember affected you? You had nightmares about it. Uh, mine was Alien, the 1979 Alien, which the first Alien is more of a sci-fi movie, but still you can consider it a horror. I think it kind of rides between hey, the said, genres. Just, wait a minute, you just said horror. Hara. Hey, yeah. shout out to Moani Hara. There you go. You want to see the Hara movie? <laughs> you see the horror movie or the Hara movie? I think the local. That was in a previous episode. The local snuck out of me in that one. So. <laughs> All right. But, then, uh, but yeah, I kind of rode that sci-fi horror line. That's right? a good so. movie too, right? And then, well, Night of the Living Dead was always the one because I always would see that every Halloween. And that's how I got introduced to that movie. Right. Being a black and white movie in the late 80s. And they had like, there was like naked women in this because they're zombies, right? So yeah. they're naked. And they had this gore and I never seen anything like it. So that was one that affected me. As far as uh, a childhood movie, so I, mean, I don't know if it got it was scary. So, well, what but. do you feel? What do you feel? Is there a movie from your childhood, or maybe let's cap it at maybe when you're in high school, but maybe pre high school days that you can still watch that still kind of gives you the chills, that still kind of scares you now? See, I don't know about any scary movie. Nothing. Like if we go back to like if we look at Exorcist, right? Exorcist. I, I was gonna say the Exorcist. That still kind of creeps me out a little bit. Exorcist is kind of humorous to me right now. <laughs> if I watched it now. I don't know. Like, you look at Phantasm, you look at Hellraiser. A lot of these kind of sort of hold up, but not, not in the effect of, like, I'm, I'm, I'm scared right now. I don't know. You know you a know? movie scared the crap out of me as a kid, and it sucks now, I, and I just laugh at it, is Poltergeist. Poltergeist does not hold up at all. Poltergeist does not hold up. I would give Poltergeist more than, well, I, would, I was going to say more than Exorcist, but no. I mean, Poltergeist had its moments. And Poltergeist is something that could actually happen. It's like, the movies that were, it could actually happen... Could would be more scary, like okay, a lot of people they bag on Blair Witch, right? So Blair Witch, a lot of people didn't like it, but you could literally get lost in the forest. Yeah, like, at that time, it right? was. And back was, in the day, we didn't have GPS, right? right? So you have this map of you have a sheet, right? And you're gonna get lost with this sheet, and then what? You you fall down, you're dead. So <laughs> Blair Witch, I have to say, would be something that is scary in the fact that it could actually happen. I don't know about 2019 with maps and whatnot, but that is something being lost. In the forest, that would be something to get back to your question. Yeah, for me, like uh, in in that in that respect, uh, Paranormal Activity, the first one, I thought that was a really well, well executed, well, well done movie, well done right. movie, right? Right, right. So well done movie in that sense. Uh, anything like anything in the paranormal, I guess. Like, I think uh, just category. for me, Ghost, Obake, anything that is anything you can't kill, you can't kill. Yes. It. Like there's obviously rules for a zombie, there's rules for a werewolf, there's rules for a vampires, right? There's no rules for ghosts. So that, that would be All bets scary. are off. 
situation. And right? so that's I think that's what scares me the most. The unknown. That scares me the most. And you know what else is the unknown? Oh. I'm trying to get a job. Oh. I tell you what, when you're 40 and you're trying to figure out life and you're trying to go back at the seat, we're, we're trying to go this angle. <laughs> figuring out a new career. This could be scary stuff. See, this is a different angle for the Halloween special. Looking at real life situation. Freeze, does that does that grip you hard or uh, get you scared? Yeah, I'm, ter- I'm terrified every day I wake up. He just got laid off as a counselor at Crystal Lake. Yeah, you know. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. Was, life is scary. I yeah. don't need Halloween. Life is scary. You see, that's the summarization that we're going to have at this show. <laughs> All right. What, anything else we got uh, before well, we get to uh, We got a lot of fun stuff coming up. Speaking here, of, so. well, well, speaking of scary, uh, the new Kanye West album was released on Ooh. Friday. Oh, how much time you got? Uh, well, you want to talk, you want to talk about that one? Uh, I don't know if we can deep dive into that right now. We might want to save it for another episode, but we, did we you get to, to listen to it? Yes. It's and literally 27 minutes. It's right. It's, the whole album is 27 minutes. Well, it's the most coherent he's ever sounded, though. It's like he got off the meds or the meds are working, some, either or. But he sounds coherent. But he warned us a long time ago with that Jesus Walk song. Like, hey, God, shape me. Get ready. And this is what this basically was, right? I mean, it's, I'm not but saying did you, that. But didn't you feel that al- the album is like rushed and feels like it's, it's almost incomplete? Well, like there, it's, there, there's nothing memorable about it. Right, and, so, and right when a song is, you feel like it's a, just about to take off, the song ends because every song on the album is two minutes. Well, that's 2019, though. That's 2019 music. All, I, all I, songs, I don't understand For the majority are two minutes or so uh, in nature, so you can't really fault the formula there. But it's, it, the, the material he's using is he's now playing off of like he's really into God and now he's saying that you know, well, hip-hop is the devil music and all this kind of crazy stuff. So I'm like... Well, in it's, his defense, he's always I been mean, he's always been rapping about God and rapping about Christian his Christianity. Right, but so this it, one is just I think he's like soul searching, and I think even more so the backlash from his fans because of the Trump support. Right, he's wearing the MAGA hat, he's going all crazy. It, it's all the and, shock and awe once again. Right, right, that's, right. That's all it is. And uh, see, that's a, this is scary talking right here. See, this is. I know we should get we should have got we should have got Jane to do a Kanye West poll today. Uh, Jane we have currently on the IG a, a Kanye West poll. Uh, can you have you pulled that up yet on the no, Instagram? No, we'll, we'll, we'll start one though. We'll yeah, start. We, one. we have one up there already. I put that on. There. Oh really? Thanks okay. for checking it up. No, we have one on. There. <laughs> sorry, sorry for not looking earlier, man. We got a Cracker Jack staff, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, Jane what's the poll? We got people like the Kanye West album or not on the Instagram story. The kids do. Oh, we need Ooh, to get that up 2%. What the fuck is going on here? Why? 69. Okay. So, let, let, let's get to it. We got a lot of, we got a lot of stuff. Yeah, we got on. a lot of stuff. We got two guests. We tonight. got great guests coming up. First of all, we got Lo- Noel Laporga is going to be yep. here from Haunted Plantation, Skull and Crown. Right. Hey! We're going to get gonna deep dive into the horror. And then we have a gentleman who was here just a year ago at this same Halloween special. That's Lopaka right. Kapanui, Mystery Mystery Yeah, that's We're gonna right. We're going to get to all kinds Woo! of stuff. Let's let's take a break here. Sleep time's over. All right. All right. Sleep time's over is back. That's the air horn. I I, I kind of for a second I forgot about the air horn amongst all you, you of the debauchery of horror of horror. Yeah. And uh, isn't that isn't that horror horror in the club? Air horn's horror. That's kind of like the time where you got to get out or something. Or like you got an STD or you got to – or both. Sleep time's over his back. And news and notes as we do uh, – first off, shout out to the sponsors. We didn't get a chance to do that amongst all of the, the horror. Shout out to the Highbrow Room, the establishment Woo! that we're here. Yeah, that's right. One year of being in the Highbrow Room. Shout out to Aloha Beer Company down there. Right? Shout out to LMC Media. Shout out to Sakai and Company, that's which right. has desserts. Woo! It's what they call desserts. But the dessert uh, this week is a, is a ghost thing. Calamense. No, that was a week ago, a couple weeks ago. <laughs> it's Calamense. It, Calamense. Red velvet. It's, red red velvet. Velvet. it's blood red velvet. Hey, bloody bloody red. Yes, it's... I was going to say, like, period, but no. So oh, jeez. Oh, we lost all the female viewers. That's it. Oh. That's it. Oh. Shout out Twitch. See? Scary stuff, right? See what I'm saying? <laughs> This is the scariest show, disgusting show. Yes, that's right. Shout the out to the Carrie Cupcakes, you call them. Shout right? out to the industry zone, Lico, is what he's called. Hello, Shout out to Lico hey. of the industry. Is that's what right. they're saying. He's dressed like he's going. Hashtag he's hashtag. getting ready for the purge. He's dressed for the purge. He's going to take everybody out. He's going to start with <laughs> Kylo. So, yes. and let's go with next week's show. Next week's show is going to be a big one. Yep. Because we're going to have 
it's it's I guess it's gonna be ladies' night part two. It is a ladies' night part two. We're gonna yeah. have uh, Samantha Moore from Wow. Hey, what song was that? That was uh, <laughs> Memphis Bleak. No. no, it was Joe Santana. Joe Santana. Yeah. No one Santana. remembers him. Yeah. And then we're gonna have Samantha Moore from Smith and Kings, the owner of Smith and Kings. That's right. And then we're gonna have this is gonna be something. We have Lady Alma's gonna be here. Yeah. Right. Yeah. That's like uh, if you remember King Brit, Silk Silk One Thirty. Like the late 90s, early 2000s, where like you had Neo Soul, and then you had like the groovy house. It was just it was a great sound of just like that groovy era. She's a, made a comeback, and she's, she's going she's gonna to be here. She's performing November 8th. Exciting. Soulgasm's 12-year yeah. anniversary of Hawaiian Bryans. That's right. How about it? Give it up. Hey, wait. wait. Oh, she, okay. And, we, <laughs> and also, we're going to have Soulgasm herself will be here. We'll just, we'll just leave it at that as a mystery. All right. As that as well. So but it'll be November, November night that's show. November 5th. That's the ladies ladies night show. November 8th. Is November the, uh, 8th, excuse me. November 5th is a ladies night show, yes, for yeah. us. November 8th is going to be Hawaiian Brian's right. uh, Soulgasm. And we're going to do a giveaway. And I'm not sure what we're going to do for the giveaway. But we have two tickets to the November 8th show at Hawaiian Brian's. And I don't know what. What should we do for a giveaway? Let's brainstorm now. All know. right, that we make well. a play. Who this? Yeah, yeah that, that's gonna. <laughs> we work. make a meat hot sauce. Right. Oh no. All right, all right. Let, let, let's let's get right to the uh, the scariness. Uh, our first guest is uh, this this guy's like this guy's a crazy guy. So it's gonna be it's gonna be fun. He is the owner of Skull and Crown. That's right. Hotel Street Haunted Plantation, which is going on its thirteenth. It's wow. only appropriate the thirteenth year of going on at this uh, the Haunted Plantation. He also does the uh, the, the Ghost Bar. All yeah. in Moana Center. That's right. He's got all. He's 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 the mecca of, of Halloween and horror. Let's bring him out, Noah Laporga. Let's go. <laughs> Where's he at? There he's coming. Yeah. I need my beard again. Did did you is it did you make this? Uh yeah. Uh, yeah. Wow. It's fantastic. Is what is the what was your your uh. What did you channel to, to make this mess? Um, I don't know. I just wanted to create <laughs> something <laughs> random and creepy. It is. It, I tell you what. Thank you for, for being on here because this is, this is like the busiest time of year for you. Yeah, like you got yeah. thousands of things going on. How are you? How, how is everything going thus far in 2019 for all these events? Uh, it's kind of crazy now. You know, so it's more kind. Yeah. Yeah. Especially haunted plantations always growing. Um, this right. is the 14th year. This is the so, 14th yeah. year. Jesus. 14th year. It gets crazier and crazier. So. So the people it's that really don't fun know. And, you know. Yeah. Yes. This is Waipahu, right? Yeah. On on the plantation village. So. So how was that created? What, what was the idea behind that? I don't know. I was a weird kid growing up, trick or treating in Mililani. Hey, hey, right. hey, hey, all right. hey! There you go. You're not alone, Sky. Yeah. Shout out, Floss. Right. That's why I'm kind of weird. So. Um, yeah, I should get some canned juice too. That's hey, what I used to go. like getting, like uh, Aloha made juice. That's, that's <laughs> Aloha made juice. Right? Oh, that's what you get. Automatic, so. automatic. Yeah. So from Aloha made juice to the haunted plantation, <laughs> it's only <laughs> fitting that that's the yeah. transition. That did you, you love from. haunted houses growing up? I did. Yeah, yeah there you I go. Did. Yeah. yeah. So. What Please. was the first? What was the first one back in the day? Was it like March of Dimes? Yeah. That yep, was it. Yeah. The, yeah. And Waipahu, who used to have the community one at the district park, so okay, hella ghetto, but it was <laughs> fun though. Ninety four like, block, yep. I mean, yeah, ninety four block. So had the. Uh, I just remember all the actors getting hit and punched and. You know, like, uh, <laughs> yeah. By yeah. All like, all the, okay. Yeah. yeah. You're gonna pop out in front of brothers. You're gonna. Get yeah. Right. Yeah. So, okay. Yeah. So uh, okay, this this leads into uh, uh, tons of questions about haunted plantation. Okay. So this is the this is by far like the scariest thing. On the island, you know, next yes. to like yeah. KPT or you know whatever, yeah, or Hotel Street. But then, what, what when you when you put this together, what, what's your idea going into putting together? Like it's it's already a built situation. But what's what's your yeah. strategy as far as like point A to point B? How do you build the audience? How do you put this together? A maze, a haunted maze. I used to do art shows. I'm not sure if you remember in Chinatown, like before uh, plantation or anything. It used to yeah. be like independent underground stuff. In that same building, the Madonka building that oh, okay. uh, we have Skull and Crown at, so yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. that was kind of a connection for Skull and Crown. Oh, okay. But yeah, it, you see, just kind of rent out that whole gutted space on the top, and then have art shows, everything like that. Oh, okay. I think it was what, two thousand and 
four, five, around that time. So 2006 was when you started? Yeah, that's when we did the plantation. So, uh, yeah, going to all those uh, smaller haunts, which are cool, yeah. but kind of learning like more guerrilla marketing and stuff like that for doing the art shows and, yeah. you know, flyers, like just hitting up all these shops, towers and jellies, putting right. up posters. Uh, was pretty much how we got started with the plantation as far as marketing and all that stuff. So mm-hmm. right now we still rock like those street signs, the ghetto street signs. Yeah, and, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, but there's like a little contact form on top of uh, our website, like asking people how they hear about us. And right. large percentage is like 60% of it can say, oh, street signs, street signs. It works. Yeah. So, I mean, in a social media time like this it's right. kind of like you know we can do that so we kind of don't do much marketing right now because it's kind of too many a, a lot yeah. of people come out so and so how do you a, so you, you have all these actors that that, that where, where do you recruit the the actors from how do you get the word out before it used to be craigslist hey all right <laughs> Oh, and then, uh, we, started getting, we started getting <laughs> a lot of, uh, we, we used to get, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, yeah, seriously, yeah. we used to get some <laughs> wackos come out and, I bet. oh man, I bet. Yeah, tell me about it, and I was like, random. So, <laughs> so it was like, we started, yeah, let, getting, letting go a lot of these, like, weirdos that uh, would do some weird things, um, but, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, when I mean, we first we, started, it was just family, you know, it's like, right. I had approached the plantation like multiple times before 2000, like 2005. Okay. I said, oh, I have this idea. I think it would be cool. Hawaii has some haunted houses, but uh, I think we can do something cool and different. Yeah. And like, yeah, there's an old Filipino lady at the end of the line, and I would be like, oh, I cannot do that. There's a museum. Right. That was a Filipino accent, but. <laughs> okay. uh, yeah, not very good. But anyways, turned down multiple times, so I just kind of went in and then said, oh, I think it'll be good for the village as well, you know, raise yeah. some money, fundraiser, that stuff. Uh, first year was just maybe like seven actors throughout the whole village, and yeah. which was uh, me every, so one, every once in a while, and my family, my mom, <laughs> my brother, wow. and my cousin. Did and you get we, we just kind of hopped out of the bushes because they didn't let us go into the stuff. We kind of threw it out there, and... Uh, uh, not expecting the turnout, had the, like a long line. Right, it's amazing. Like, now. Take a booth from take a booth all the way up to Waipahu Street. Yeah. Onto the road, and I was oh, like, no. okay, seven people. Yeah. You know, seven of us spread out throughout the village, which was we were just like throwing pots, everything. We had like cheap, <laughs> <laughs> like cheap, really cheap mass. <laughs> so you're just in this, okay now. White. Yeah, and this is like, we didn't know what to do. We were just dressing right. it up, and it was a disaster. But, I mean, it, it was kind of like a beautiful mess because it was kind of, it turned into something. Yeah, it's in the raw form. kind of formed and, yeah. into something professional. And, yeah, like one uh, time you had like 60 actors or something, right? Yeah, we still have like around right. that time. So, so that's the current number right now? 60 plus? Yeah. Wow. Some, yeah, I can get and, and your place, it's, it's a truly haunted site. <laughs> That right. you can talk to Lopaka about. Right, right. that's that's, that's something else, right? So you have some things that happened and things that and like some of the scare actors yeah. even have something happened to them. Yeah, so so there's some stuff and it's kind of yeah, there's a lot of things that happen that unexplainable. But, it's unreal. Uh, I, I guess the first couple of years is when it was kind of creepy, yeah. Like right, it was just pretty much me just going by myself. Oh, I can't village, even imagine like, you. Uh, Rolling out extension cords and just kind of like <laughs> setting up fog machines. And Unreal. I would just kind of bounce out like after that. So, so how long does this run from a, a day, the, the plantation? Um, you run it for how many hours? Uh, we open at 7 p.m. 7 p.m. And then yeah. we usually sell out once the parking lot fills up. Oh, so man. sometimes like on this past Saturday, it was 6.30 we closed. Wow. Because it's kind of, yeah, this is just like... Everyone has the same ideas, like, oh, let's go to the plantation right. on this night, you know, right. the week before. Right. 
And so we can only accommodate so many people, so we just kind of cut it off Unreal. where the officers just close that. So. so then you have these characters, they're all in the designated areas, and they, they, yeah. they come out for hours on end, do their, do their thing. They do like, that. What it's if they got to pee like, or something? Like, what do they do? Can, and the guy takes a break, and then the guy walks by, and then there's nothing that happens. There's a oh. guy that takes over. Oh, I just tell him. The life the of trees, a scare. Yeah, 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 there you go. Yeah. 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 Forget the bottle. No, but they usually have like two to three people, yeah, attached bottles. Wow. I was always wondering about the, the whole mazes thing. It's like you have these guys who are just there, ready to go. Like someone coming out of the yeah. tub for hours on end and just yeah, like doing yeah. that. They gotta be, you gotta be fit at this point, right? The, yeah. Kind of people squatting lose and people <laughs> lose weight and they right? shout out fitness, yeah. fitness <laughs> and horror. So we take a picture of them during the casting or the audition. Yeah. And they kind of out of shape, and then at the end of it, oh, ah, skinny. Bro. Oh, lose weight. <laughs> oh, get ripped. Yeah. Jump out of the yeah. tub, get ripped. Wow, I, I always wondered about that because it's just hours on end, and you got to be on it, and plus you have to be in. What is the, the time timing? of the total walkthrough? Uh, it's like fifteen minutes. Okay. Oh, wow. Yeah, fifteen minutes, and then there's people that just are too scared to go in, so they hold up the line, and it's like oh, twenty minutes. Yeah. Get out of here, these guys. Oh yeah. Oh, so escorts, a lot of escorts. People right, right. Actually, crap themselves. You know, sometimes really? uh, we have to clean it up. So oh, scary. Uh, yeah, it's like See? shit. I it's think scary. Uh, two two weeks ago, it's all like it's all like a mind thing too. That yeah. so we try to create something like when people are like waiting in that line, we put them in front of the side of the museum or the main building, yeah. so people can see the village yeah. and hear the screams, and that kind of builds like something in there. And then so when they do come in, sometimes they want to get escorted out before they even go into oh, the tunnel. Yeah, so right. It's like. And so does that? Oh, my thing. And yeah. You have a lot of rules, of course. You know, for for these guys that come in, do you do you see a lot of these guys like all the mokes they come in and they just oh. sucker punching all these suckers and? <laughs> it, no, the first I, I'd say, my I think two years. The yeah. first two years. The second year, first year we did one night, second year we did two nights, and then the second year when we did two nights, the first night, oh, everyone was getting like knocks. Really? Everyone. And then that- Oh, where are you from? And then, and then it was like, because we didn't have a formula yet. Yeah, yeah. The, well, we're right next to Pupu Ola Street, you know, oh. Pupu Town, that whole area, and all those kids would just come up and, right. just, you know, Get the slippers and just kind of. Oh, 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 so we never, had, we never had that. You know that we had that problem, and we didn't have security. We didn't have oh, right. officers. Right. Well, we had one, but it was useless. Uh, and then, uh, you know, it's just that second year. Like, well, I was like, just gonna cancel it. You know, yeah. because I was like, well, we're never gonna do this again. Yeah. <laughs> had like their prosthetics falling off their face and oh. you know everyone's getting like slapped and stuff oh god so Freaking now guys. i mean it's just like cut it out there's like there's groups but we that's why now if you go to the haunt we have like volunteers laced throughout the whole place and security yeah. so we have to use the solis to protect us from the solis there we go yeah. good solely on solely violence <laughs> that's um, the thing all our family yeah like a lot of our friends and family are like from waipahu area too so oh, okay always, right so I oh, think that's good. yeah and then so it's like pretty, pretty much we do rules of course right in the beginning i think once it starts to get uh really busy is when there's trouble like you know when we have to send in bigger groups then yeah i think no one's there so or watching, but we right. have to throw out a lot of people in the yeah. first half, and like our security is they're on it. They're like bouncers, so I would think they have to be, so, right? Yeah, but right when we first hired or, or got our security, is like oh yeah, big Samoan guys. It's like man, they'd be grabbing kids like this, walking them out, like lifting them up, and full of people and okay. just throwing them up because yeah, they touched yeah. the actors and stuff. Right, it's like you know. Wow. But now it's pretty pretty cool, you know. After Everybody the knows and respects the rules, now. But the second time it was like, oh man, it's never cooks. again. Yeah. Right, Scott, you ever been to this? You been to the haunted plantation? No, I, I I've this? always wanted to go. Now I really want to go. Now I feel like I want to go to uh, the Sole Village, and because I feel like that would oh, really scare the shit out of me. Yeah. <laughs> That's the offshoot. <laughs> it's like the. 
It's just oh all bouncers. God. It's yeah. like it's like my yeah. biggest fear. That's the California <laughs> adventure of the haunted plantation. The offshoot. It's, just like, yeah. it's my worst nightmare. It's like so, every club I've been I've been like not let in yeah. the door. Yeah, so like you it. get scared by the security. You know the security. Yeah, the security. And the monsters, <laughs> so. In real life, you yeah. like I jumping out. Yeah. Wow. So then, what led to then Skull and Crown? Was that that was the next? Skull and Crown. Legend? I was big. You know, I'm a big Tiki fan. I go okay. you know, to and and uh, a lot Trader Sam's, uh, False Idol, all those places. Yeah. I mean, in Hawaii, you know everyone. You know, we got friends, bartenders, yeah. friends who own bars, restaurants. Um, you know, it's just one big family you right. know you kind of know everyone so um yeah so i thought about uh and wanting that's... to opening up skull and crown how long has this uh, been open it's been open june 7th so less than still, okay yeah still just a couple, a right. couple months but now uh, something totally different yeah this is like a little um little taste of horror or dark more of a darker thing in there right right so the people that haven't been there the interior of this place the layout yeah. is great yeah it, it's basically like i don't even it's, it's yeah it's like a goth tiki, tiki goth tiki or something goth, yeah, yeah. Like some some pirate stuff going on and then hawaii 50 plays in the in the background like strangely it's like, all, kinds, <laughs> all kind of shit going on yeah That's so true. that alone is the entertainment value of this think, place yeah so. it's like big fan of that but i didn't want to do too kitsch you know yeah um we also have like a effects company in uh, Los Angeles, so it's like a warehouse a studio oh, okay. uh, in Van Nuys uh, that, oh, okay. uh, or in the Valley, I want to say Los Angeles, you know, yeah, yeah. Yeah, where we kind of make our masks and props and stuff for movies, uh, as oh, well wow. as other haunted houses. So we have wow. all this. I was just telling my partner when we first opened, I was like, let's do something random and different. Let's create like a trading company because Hotel Street. Or especially Chinatown was known for a lot of trading and right. stuff early 1900s. So pre Don the Beachcomber, you know, uh, what, you know, he started the whole tiki thing. You know, um, we wanted to do something like thinking about what would inspire him to create something. But right. you know, the whole tiki bar movement. Stuff. And who's so, your co-creator? Who's uh, Angelina. Oh, right. Shout Angelina. out, yep. Angelina, Shout out to Angelina Khan. Yeah. yeah. So what's the so, what's the next for you guys? What, what's the what's the next deal? After uh, this? I we mean, do, well, you have the ghost bar. Yeah, we do the so. ghost bar. That's just a pop up thing, yeah. you know. Uh, that's a. Uh, it's just more fun stuff at all. Moana. They wanted to put something together, so. Uh, yeah, just Halloween themed. You're a busy thing. guy. Man. Yeah. I don't know how you do it. And it's know. uh, it's pretty fun. It's otherworldly. Uh, but come before going. come before midnight because. It can't turn into like a ratchet party. <laughs> oh, that's yes. scary. And, uh, yes. See? Where's the air horn? It's called, uh, <laughs> Get the air horn out. We'll call it the haunted <laughs> ratchet. Right? What's scary? The ratchets or the ratchets, right? It's the ratchets, oh, man. Gosh. The haunted ratchets. Yeah. Well, so well, well, that's what I wouldn't call that. Speaking of ha haunted so, ratchets, uh, I'll give you an assignment, sir, uh, before yes, we go to I, break. And I want to yeah. get your thoughts on this one. We give, we're going to get you uh, get your thoughts on your Mount Rushmore okay. of horror movies. All right. Horror. Yeah. Horror. No, horror. What would you go for? Horror movies. Horror. Well I'm said. Kidding, okay. Well said. Yes. Yeah. What, what, what you got? What, what's, what's your favorite here? All right. Um, I got three movies. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's... Uh, <laughs> I don't know. Is that... I mean, you have, you, well, okay, well, yeah. let's go with the three, and then we can see if we can come okay. up with a fourth one no, for you. I guess so. Uh, you're just talking about just horror movies in general. Yeah. Uh, just course, ones that you never get sick of. Yeah, like ones that you never, ever get sick of. Well, of course, Halloween. Yeah, Halloween Halloween original, Halloween, nice. Of course, you know. Yeah. I guess it's uh, growing up, you know, when um, VH uh, VHS tapes were kind of a thing. Yeah. I remember as a kid just kind of waiting in line at the food land in YPO. And then they, they would they used, to, they used to rent a VHS yep. tape. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah the video rental. I would see Halloween 1, 2, 3, and 4, the face of Michael Myers. Right. Just on, you know, those right. tapes. And I would be like, wow, that's pretty haunting and scary, you know, my... So the brother would always just kind of walk past it and like, kind of avoid that whole VHS, uh, you know, right, right. whole rack because of just the yeah, the cover of the, the, face alone. the, cover right. the box just, would right. like haunt just, you, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, the face of that, you know, and of course, uh, Exorcist, uh, like what you guys are talking okay. about, was yeah. it something yeah. that you I guys? I still love it. Yeah, 
I guess as great. a kid, yeah, you know, as just, a kid, it's gonna just, freak you. Yeah, out. but it's, still, um, it's legit good movie. It's a legit it's, good it's, movie. I don't know if it'll freak you out now, though. I mean, it because yeah. we, yeah, we kind of get the, yeah, what's going you on. Get, She's throwing up at people. Enough, you, you, can't, know? you can't argue that it's a it's a it's really a, it's a well made, movie. well yeah. written, classic. Yeah. well acted yeah. movie. Yeah, classic. I mean, the part of her like doing the crab walk. Exactly, that's a great scene. You know, excellent scene. I mean, being a kid and watching that, that's kind of like it affected you. As a kid, definitely. Yes. Oh, okay. Yeah. With the deep voice and things like that uh uh hereditary if you guys watch wow. oh you guys a new like, one well, yes well played sir wow new one i was a fan i'm a big fan of yeah. that that was, that was uh, a great one so i like hereditary oh yeah that one wow. too of course texas was, chainsaw massacre we had a request. texas yeah. chainsaw massacre yeah. shout out no, that was totally. shout out to john larroquette who did the intro uh voice in, in the uh really in the beginning you know where the, he reads in the yeah. beginning yeah. of the texas that's chainsaw that's john larroquette, that's john larroquette. Yeah. of night court oh, fame you know, yeah night court fame oh. No, you know this? Oh, I didn't know that. Really? I, I, I look at that. Deep he watches a lot of Joe Bob Briggs. I watch a lot of Night Court. But yes, Joe, John Larroquette was the uh, the in- intro voice of Texas Chainsaw. He was a college fuckers. student. He came out and they got him. Yeah, like but yo, that. shout out Hereditary. Because uh, Hereditary, shout Hereditary though. it was my favorite horror movie in the last like probably like three or four years. Yeah. That's a groundbreaking yeah. one. Yeah. 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 Ari Aster. The a lot director. of different yeah. stuff. Really good. He's, 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 he's got some great stuff coming up. Did you see uh, Midsommar? Yeah, I saw Midsommar as well. Not yet. Did you like that? I, I think it's uh I like parts of it. Yeah. It's but it's uh it's it it does uh take a while to yeah, to ramp like, up. It's well, a slow okay, burn. So. It's a slow yeah. burn. It's a almost three hour horror movie, yeah. so Ooh, that's takes, a, and, that's know. scary. <laughs> three hour movies are scary. Yeah. <laughs> we don't have that much time. But yes, but you have a you have a fourth one you can pull we'll be another um, your, a last one here we can Troll two. Wow. Troll two. Wow. <laughs> well, yeah. This is like a. Is this like a so Troll bad two. it's good kind of thing? Like yeah. a so bad it's good. Okay. Yeah. I have a tradition, I guess. Uh, every uh, every year we have a troll troll two night. So. Wow. Yeah. Where's this at? Is that my yeah. house? Yeah, Milani, <laughs> Nob Hill. There you go, Milani. Yeah. Troll so. two night is the only one yeah. going on in Oahu right now. Yeah. No one's doing it's that. Just, uh, That's great. I love it. Love all, it. it. Voted one of the worst movies of all time. Yeah, it is. Oh yeah, it's, it's pretty. Fun. It's pretty trash. But yeah, yeah. it's it's hilarious though. It's, right, like, it's yeah. hysterical. Like, yeah. So wow. many quotable lines. Yeah. Yep. Wow. Very beautiful, beautiful movie. That's quite a pull, sir. Yeah. Gosh, makes me think of like House Two now. Oh yeah. Makes me think of, like oh, all yeah. these. <laughs> let's pull in all these deep cut crap. Yeah. Wow. House Two is one. What else? Yeah, the do? stuff. The stuff. Hey, the stuff. You, yeah. you remember the stuff? We just watched a. Uh, uh, Sleepaway Camp. Oh yeah, Sleepaway. Shout out Sleepaway oh. Camp. You a fan of Sleepaway Camp? Um, I didn't the, see with, that one. No. You didn't see Sleepaway no, Camp? No. Okay, let's oh, not give spoil away it. the twist there. Let's not spoil. There's a twist. But it's at very the, end. the twist at the end is very 2019. Oh, there's yeah, something is yeah. Put the Attack of the Killer Tomatoes. Yep, Attack right. of the Killer Tomatoes. Yeah, there's one. Yeah. Yeah. Right. right. Oh, Freeze, you got that one? You, I know that one. They made yeah. a cartoon out of that. Freeze. What do you mean? Yeah, man. That's Good awesome. factoid there, Freeze. Well. Woke up from that one. Okay, but yes, we gotta get you to watch Sleepaway Camp. We should have a Sleepaway yeah. Camp party. <laughs> that sounds awful. Yeah. That sounds that's awful, but it's just I can't believe it's. Oh, what about the uh, Return of the Living Dead? You you oh, a fan yeah, of the, yeah. the zombie movies? Yeah. Okay, right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Dawn of the Dead, Day of the Dead. I like um, all the Universal horror movies too. You know? Oh, the oh, classics. Classics, yeah. Classics, yeah. yeah. Wolfman, Frankenstein, Wolf, Dracula. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, wow. That's like. There you go. You grew awesome. up watching the Monster Squad. Obviously, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you we're about the same age, so yeah, that kind of celebrated all. Remember these. Monster Squad? Kick them in the nards. Remember yeah. them? Yeah, yeah man, it was a Goonies yeah. ripoff, but with monsters. Goonies, yeah. What's not to like? Yeah, Frankenstein, Dracula, and the Wolfman all in the same movie. Mm-hmm. What's what's uh, the time frame for after Halloween? Is it going to run to Halloween Haunted Plantation, or is it going to uh, run a little bit after? Yeah, we're um, October thirty first. Our okay. Halloween is our last night. Okay. So. Same with God. the uh, Ghost Bar as well. Or? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah, so there, and then, of course, Skull and Crown's open forever. I mean, you know, year-round, yeah. that's, uh, it's not like a pop-up. Yeah. Uh, demographic for that has been really crazy. It's like we get, like, full-on tourists, you know? Like, yeah, yeah. It's like they come into Chinatown. It's like 50% locals and 50% right. tourists. And right, right, right. You see the Ubers, like, right on, you know, <laughs> Smith Street. And you see the bright fluorescent shirts coming out. It's like, oh, they're coming here. Yeah. Mm. Matches, I guess, the tiki drinks, but yeah, and then you get the good stuff. All the so Halloween people. is the yeah. official last night. Yeah, I'm off yeah. Wednesday. I'm off Wednesday night, man. You want to go? You know, there's a thing called work. All right, getting back to scary <laughs> things. People gotta work. People gotta edit this show. Okay, social media, it's a bitch. I think yeah, I'm gonna try to so. go. I think I'm gonna try to go Wednesday night. Okay, good for you. Thursday uh, night. 
one. No, 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 but I'm going to oh. go before Halloween. I figured Halloween's going to be like the shit yeah. show night, right? Well, that's that's going to be no, like. Halloween is our only night. going to come out It's our Halloween. slowest night? It's that Halloween night is our only night open. Oh, that, it's the only yeah. night. Oh, okay, that's okay. I thought you were night. open you before. Yeah, I thought you were sorry, open before. That's it. Too late, bro. But you can check out Skeleton Key, which is some friends in the east side. Oh, yeah? Yeah, they have an awesome haunt there. Oh, okay. Jorge Garcia. Oh, yeah, on the yeah, inside, from right? Lost. Yeah, from Lost. Oh, yeah? yeah. Jorge Garcia from Lost. Oh, wow. So check them out because okay. I know they're open on the 30th. And, uh, okay. Um, yeah, awesome stuff. Good stuff, man. I tell you, anybody that hasn't come to Skull and Crown, you got to check that out. The interior is great. So good stuff. Yeah. And, uh, and any, uh, what's, the, what's the latest future things? Anything uh, opening up before um, we go? Well, I, I mean, we have some other stuff coming up. But, okay. Yeah, kind of under wraps now, but. It'll be fun. Yeah. I tell you what, Sky, any, any parting words? It's, it's a busy no. man here. This I want to try to make it out there on Halloween if I can. Good yeah, for you, bro. I've never there. been out there. I, gotta I don't want to go by myself, though. Right. <laughs> it builds character. Okay, just put do together, it. Just, just put together a group and then I'll bring you guys in. Assign yeah. me my own uh, Samoan bodyguard. <laughs> yeah. yeah we'll, no. we'll figure that out, Sky. Okay. <laughs> awesome. Brother, thank you very much for coming on, man. Thank Busy you guy. much. Noel Laporga, everyone. That's right. Thank you. Thank That's you. right. Yes. Let's take a break. Sleep time's over. Hey, there it is. There, there's the air horn. That's what we were waiting so much for. It was a valuable tool, the air horn. Sleep time's over is back. And before we close out this fourth annual Halloween edition, the, the fourth annual one, it's been four years, I guess, we're going to bring the man who was here a year ago, I guess this month, today, I don't remember the exact date, but he was here a year ago. Yep. And he it's was right the around man, the same time. He is, he is the, the man of mysteries of Hawaii. Without further ado, Lopaka Kapanui. Woo! There he is. <laughs> the horrific sounds of Lenny Kravitz. Are you going to go my way? Are you gonna go his way, little pocket? <laughs> <laughs> isn't this isn't this relaxing? Okay, yes. Oh yeah, we'll, we'll bring this up to you here. All right. So, it's 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 one year later, and if you remember last time you were here, you can pull them out if you want. Okay. Pull this out here. It was a year ago, and we were like in the darkness, and there was nobody here. And fast forward to now, a lot has changed. A lot has changed throughout the year, and I I gotta pull off a. And, and, and mention to you right off the bat, with the things that have happened in the past year with Hawaii, I guess, becoming more spiritual in the sense where you have a lot of stuff going on at Mauna Kea. Has that transpired over to your tours as people, as things change, as, as people mention to you different things regarding since that took place? It's kind of the other way around. Yeah? Yeah. Um, you know, and I won't go into that because we don't have the time. Uh, but what, what has been happening lately, and I've actually spent most of my, my life putting this, this off because um, yeah. people's deceased relatives, you know, decide that yeah. they have a message for someone who's in my presence or on my tour or at my ghost storytelling concert. And rather than communicate the message to their living relative directly, they want to communicate it through me. And so... For many years, I've sort of been able to say, look, I'm off the clock. I can't help you. But yeah. uh, within the past six months, um, the floodgates have opened. And so spirits of people who have passed away, who are attached to the people who are on the tours or whatever event, yeah. uh, kind of hijack the event. Uh, and, you know, and they won't let, let the event go forward unless I at least channel two messages from two people. You know, gotcha. And so I have to ask you, or the people here, is if anyone's attached to the name Gabriel or Dominic. Nobody. Yeah. No one. It's interactive. Yeah. You. Dominic. Dominic. Who? Who's Dominic? That's my older brother's name. He's still around. He's still around. Yeah. Well, what's happening with Dominic? But is Dominic your older brother, or are you the older brother? He's my older brother. But are you the older brother sometimes? Uh, In certain situations, you have to sort of like... Intellectually, I was always looked at as the more mature of the right. two. He was like a jock and I was a nerd. Right. So I was always like, at 
projections on me to be better than him, but I feel like he does better now. Right. Actually, I, I think it's not so much a case of you being better than him. It's more of, more of a situation where you, you have to be there for him. Because as successful as he is, there's going to be times when he's sort of going to trip up you know, and, and sort of forget to be humble. And so that's your role in his life. You know, during those times, you have to step in and you have to be the older brother. Okay. And anybody attached to Gabriel? Anything with Gabriel? No. No? no. Anybody thinking of naming their next kid Gabriel? Mm -hmm. No pressure. No pressure? <laughs> All right. Okay. Well, so that was what, those names that as you entered here? Or what, when, did you, when did you come across that? Uh, yeah, uh, as yeah. soon as I parked across the street. Wow. You know. And so that's, that's been happening a lot. Wow. Yeah. And you just came from a tour tonight. Yes, where somebody named Megan is, insisted that I had to mention her name, and I did. And Megan's younger sister was on the tour. And apparently uh, Megan, who lives halfway across the world, has not gotten over her, her mother's passing. And so her sister is on the tour, is, is the one, just like this gentleman, um, had, had to step in and be the older sibling. Wow. And then there's much more, but, you know, like I said, we don't have time. Wait, how, and how, is it always going to be October the busy time for you? No, is, actually. Or, um, what's the busier time? Is it? April and December. Really? Yeah, everybody thinks, you know, December's the, the month of Christmas and merriment and joy, but December's uh, got the highest rate of suicides. And as far as um, pagan holidays, uh, that was really, really December. Yeah. yeah. And then April is Golden Week when a lot of Japanese people are coming in. And then, you know, spring break, so a lot of local people coming home. Oh, not just taxes. Uh, that too, <laughs> yes. <laughs> Death and taxes. Right, once again. Just trying not to say taxes, but All yes, right, there it know. is. Yeah. So <laughs> last time you were on, we, we got into the history of, of how you got started. Right. And we got into the, the, the background there. So I wanted to try something a little different where... We're going to go into different stories, not the usual, like I'm sure you've gotten asked a million times about the Morgan's Corner and yeah. asked you about my, while I drive in. And right. So we're not going to go that route tonight. We've Thank done you. that. Yes. <laughs> so we did, a, we, did a, we did a listener poll of some stories of what the listeners wanted to hear that is not really the, the popular ones, the right. famous ones. Right. So the one that was, uh, there's two of them. One is the, uh, the Kaimaki Haunted House. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So if you could tell the people that don't know that story, what is the... Back so up. that house is actually the house on 2nd and Harding. It was recently the hoarder's house. Um, and the background behind that is uh, in 1972, two police officers were called to that house because uh, the girls who were, were visiting in the house were being physically assaulted by something they couldn't see. And they could smell uh, the aroma of ozone, you know, like when it's about to rain. Yeah. So that's one of the telltale signs that there's uh, ghosts around. And so the police showed up, they rescued the girls from the house, and down on Waiala and Kapiolani was the old Oasis Inn, and they had to pull over, according to the, um, the newspaper report, and the actual officer who was on one of my tours, because they got the girls, the officer who was driving got the two girls out of the car, and the officer who was in the passenger seat was trying to get out, and he said he felt this huge hand grab him like over here, and while he was still sitting in the passenger seat, it actually lifted him up and pinned him up against you know, the roof, the ceiling of the car before it let him go, yeah. Wow, well then. Yes. Kaima Key. Kaima Key, think, think twice about, you know, moving in. It's always wishy-washy of Kaima I know, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I know. That wasn't my favorite. <laughs> <laughs> but as, as we have some people from the Kaima Key area. That, that yeah. house was notorious in for a paranormal activity for a long time, right? Was yeah. that the same house? It was, everybody thinks it's the house on 8th and Harding, but uh, the only thing that happened there in 1945 was a mass murder. A guy just walked into the house and killed uh, the parents and all the kids. The, one of the more unknown stories about the house on 2nd and Harding is that uh, a Samoan guy f who was in the military uh, moved into that house with his mom, brought her from Samoa, and then he brought over his girlfriend from Germany, and she was pregnant, and the, s the mother from Samoa was not happy because she told her son, I don't want grandchildren who are afakasi. She didn't want half-caste grandchildren. And so um, had the kids anyway, and the mom passed away, and Samoan style, and Polynesian style too, you know, they're buried around the house, and Hawaiian style, the bones are kept in the house. 
So Glenn Grant showed me her headstone behind that house, and he said the invisible force that was slapping these kids around and you know throwing them all over the place was the poltergeist of their grandmother. Wow. Yeah. Wow. So, there so you ladies, you know, check carefully the background of the man you intend to marry, and oh. you know your future mother-in-law. That's an understatement, huh? Yeah. Dating in 2019. So there's a listener poll question too here. Uh, yes. The drowning ghost of Waimea Valley. Waimea oh, Valley Falls. So it's not actually a... a What's that one? It's not actually a ghost. It's an Akua who lives in that pond. Okay. And the, the caretaker of Waimea Valley told me himself that now and again, the EMT will have to drive up to the valley and he'll, he'll have to go up with them. Because now and again, he said, um, a young man, 19 years old, dives into the pond, doesn't surface, they dredge the pond, it's only 30 feet deep, they can't find anything, and lo and behold, three hours later, the body pops up. And the caretaker said, without fail, every single body has bruised finger marks around the ankle, and the lips are swollen back, black like something was literally trying to suck the life out of it. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Ed, let's just go into the tours itself. Now, that's you that's offer a segue, that's a good segue. <laughs> <laughs> exactly, yeah, I'm not gonna... Right. So the amount of tours <laughs> that you have. Aaron said the uh, life sucked out of him. <laughs> oh, that happened a long time ago. Don't worry. Uh, yeah. Because you offer a, you offer a, I wanted to delve into a little bit more the, the crime tour that you have. Haunted crime tour. Right. Yeah. So let, let, let's, for the people that don't know about that one, what would that be about? Uh, unfortunately, a lot of it is uh, double murder suicides. And the majority of the double murder suicides on the haunted crime tour were committed by women on their cheating husbands and boyfriends. And so men who come on the tour are not happy at the end because the cases are all documented. And those cases have uh, what we call supernatural repercussions. So those places are still haunted. And then we go to the old courthouse and talk about the, the Massey trial. Oh, wow. Yeah. So how long is that tour uh, per night? Um, it depends. You know, it's a customized tour, so it's up to the group how long or okay. how short they want the tour to be. Got it. Yeah, I've gone on two of the, his tours. Oh, you so, have? Yes. I did, I did the Wainai tour, which... Oh, wow. wow I did the Wainai tour, the Haunted right? Heal. I did the Haunted Heal tour with you. Was this oh, before, yeah. before we stopped? This is before you stopped it. Okay. And then I went on the Haunted uh, Town one where we, you took us to, like, Walmart, where there's, oh, like, yes. the bones buried behind Walmart right. uh, on Keomoku. Oh, okay, right, and stuff. right, right. Yeah. And we went into Kaka'ako, and we talked about the... Yeah. He talked about the haunted uh, condos and stuff. The tours are, are, are f fascinating. They're scary. They're really great. And just so you guys know, we had to stop doing the Y&I yeah. ghost tour because too many things were happening. And it got so bad that I was afraid of um, someone suing us for spiritual possession. So oh, gotcha. we stopped it for about three years. Yeah, that one, you, I, I remember you were giving everyone the, you telling everyone if you had anything negative going on in your life, if you had any depression, anything like, because yeah. anything that the ghost could latch on to, you, you probably shouldn't be on this tour. You were like, it was like your disclaimer in the beginning, and it was like, yeah. oh, he's gotcha. like, don't, okay. yeah. Wow. Of course, people who are depressed don't say anything until the end because they want to test the theory, and then it's too late. Anyway, next question. Right, that's, uh, <laughs> yeah. God, that's so 2019, right? No one admits they're depressed. Well, you kind of segued into, uh, I was going to ask you, what scares you now? What is Lawsuits? Is that really the one that's going to be the thing that truly, what, of all the stories and all the history, is there something that still scares you to this day? Yeah. Yeah. Um, dying alone. Oh, ooh. there you go. That. Yeah. Whoa. Game set match. On that one. <laughs> yeah. Uh. So, you know, I told my wife if, if it gets to the point where um, we're in that situation, just have me at home. And I said, after I'm gone, don't bury me in some graveyard with a bunch of people I don't know. I said, you know, keep me in the house, the urn. Yeah. Then I said, and you know, every now and again, if there's someone over the house that you know you and I mutually don't like. When they're not looking, sprinkle my ashes in the food. <laughs> well played. Yeah. I, I like it. I like it. Star. Yeah. That's a I like good it. I'm in it. I'm into it. I like it. That's yeah. great. I mean, you know, spiritual indigestion. Is that ash beer? Wow. Yeah. Spiritual indigestion. Well, hopefully this wasn't one of the things of spiritual indigestion, but we got to go with weirdest things that have happened. I'm, uh, there's a million of them, I'm sure, oh, yeah. but... Yeah. What, what's some things that stand out on your tour? 
There was the night there was this uh, guy. He was about six foot two. He was wearing the, um, you know, the cap, the cap that the French uh, bicyclists Beret. wear. Yeah. It's that cap. Yeah, the beret. Yeah. Right. No, 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 no. It's the other thing. A derby. You, yeah, you know what I'm talking about. Hey, the Lord. That short build right. cap. Thing. Okay. And then yeah. he was wearing a windbreaker and soccer shorts and knee high socks and shoes. And I kept, well, I kept looking at him all night because he looked familiar. And then the tour concluded in the graveyard at Kauai Ha'u. And I said, you know, brother, I, I hope you don't think I'm rude or weird, but I have to ask you this question. He's like, sure. I said, are you David Beckham? And he says, no, everybody says that, but, you know, I'm not really David Beckham. But he said it in that accent, and he had the tattoos all over his neck. And, and he wasn't with, with a posh spice, but it turns out it, it really was David Beckham. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, about that. And what was David Beckham doing on a ghost tour, you know, in random. the middle of the phone? Yeah, it's very random. By himself. Oh. Yeah, with, wow. with someone who wasn't his wife. Oh, oh wow. I mean, never mind. There you go. Oh. We've turned into TMZ. Uh, <laughs> wow. Hey. That's, that's the tops right there. I got it. And then there was Channing Tatum, but that's another story. Oh, wow. Yeah. You, you, you're going to leave us hanging like that? Well, really? this guy came up on the tour and says, listen, you know, my friend over there, he's well known. And, you know, I'd appreciate it if he wouldn't say anything about who he is. And I'm like, I don't know who he is. I can't tell. He's got this cap like down above his eyes. And so the guy says, well, you know, just, you know, make sure everybody. I was like, how can I make sure if you don't tell me who he is? And so by the end of the tour, they're walking away. And the, the guy turns around. He's like, hey, man, thank you. And when he went like this, I'm like, it's freaking Channing Tatum. <laughs> Yeah. Wow. And wow. so it turns out Johnny Depp also has a habit of walking up and down 4th Street Mall. That, that's apparently the place that he likes to hang out because uh, nobody bothers nobody him. Nobody will Wow. Yeah. Well, he looks homeless, right? I mean, yeah. Yeah. yeah, plus he looks homeless, right? <laughs> right. Wow. Yeah. Well, if you guys, if you guys ever, uh, have you ever seen that movie from the 70s called Annie Hall? Yeah, it's yeah. a great uh, movie. That's how Johnny Depp dresses, like Annie Hall. Wow. <laughs> Anyway, wow. next, next question. We're still yes, there. fantastic. <laughs> We're just, it's, it's getting better and better here. Was, <laughs> what was um, all-time favorite ghost story of all the many stories? What, what is your top? Ooh, um, it's the ghost story about the guy who had to raise his son by himself because um, after his son was born, his wife told him, listen, uh, this is not for me. I don't think I was made to be a, a wife or a mom, so I'm leaving, and she left. And so he raised the kid by himself. And the short story is that they were shopping at Pearl Ridge for the son's winter formal suit. And when they were walking outside, the parking lot was crowded and people like racing all over the parking lot to get spaces. And he said the son shoved him out of the way, like sent him tumbling. And then he heard this brake screech and the son was hit by this SUV and was killed. Um, and so he said, you know, he just kind of like mentally checked out and would go to the son's school to pick him up, you know, not realizing the son was already dead. And I guess um, it's a tradition in, in Samoa that I found out later where you have to go sit out in front of someone's house to ask for their forgiveness and you got to stay there until you're forgiven. And so the gentleman who accidentally, you know, uh, hit the boy sent his sons to go do that. And this guy was telling the story, he said, well, that's the opportunity for me to go in the house and get a baseball bat and just Negan, these guys, you know. But he said as he was rushing down the hallway, he walked past the son's bedroom and just something caught his eye. And he said he stepped back and looked in his son's bedroom and he said his son is, is sitting on the bed. And he said he knew he was sort of, you know, not mentally there, but he, he just stood there and looked at what he thought was his son. And the thing turned to him and said, Dad, don't do this. And he said, what do you mean? I mean... He said, these guys are out here. I mean, it's my opportunity to take revenge for, for what happened to you. And the ghost of the son said, Dad, if you do this, when the time comes, we won't be able to see each other. And so the dad went outside and forgave them. And when it came to the court case, you know, the dad told the judge, you know, I don't want to press charges. You know, sending this guy to jail is not going to bring my son back, and it's going to destroy his family. So, you know, so went up to the guy, gave him a hug and all this. Um, the sad part about the whole story is um, when he was giving the eulogy at the son's services, he said when his son picked out his, his suit for the winter formal, it was a horrible, horrible combination. It was like a, a tan corduroy jacket, a purple shirt with yellow stripes, this tie that was checkered, uh, red khaki pants and these awful shoes. 
And he said he didn't judge what his son picked out for his winter formal because first time, you know, with a girl and everything. But he said, I, I never realized that that same outfit that my son put together would be the one that he's now wearing in the casket. Yeah. And that's the short story. That's the short story, wow. Yeah, so the gentleman who told me this, um, this less than a minute story, we spent most of the day, you know, talking about it and him just trying to get it all out. Yeah, yeah. Wow. It sounds like all the Lord dresses sometimes in some nights. Like, yeah, right. that's, that, that's a formal for you. Yeah, I'm sorry. The Lord Flores, everyone. Well, one question that came to mind as uh, right before we began just popped into my head is, where, was there ever a moment after a tour where you would experience something strange or something that would happen, and after the event, you were like, maybe I, sh maybe I should take a break from the tour, maybe I should even possibly just... Stop the tour. Has that ever happened? No. Yeah? No. It's because a lot of people think that if you do something like a haunted house, which I've only heard good things about, or a ghost tour, or a ghost storytelling, whatever, that something will attach itself to you and follow you home. And so people ask me all the time, is something going to follow me home after this thing? And I always say, we always walk around with two attachments, one family member and one guardian. And so I tell these people, but when you come on a ghost tour or a storytelling thing, the, the atmosphere and the energy enhances or amplifies this feeling that you have something with you. I said, so nothing's, nothing's going to follow you. You're fine, and it's okay. Except for the night that we were doing a customized tour of uh, haunted cemeteries around Honolulu. And the entire night, we were on this 14-passenger um, van, and my wife kept insisting that this, this white car was following us. And so finally, uh, when we're getting up to the last stop by Natsunoya Tea House, I sat with her in the back and looked out the window. And I said, so what, what's following us? A white car? She says, yeah, it's a 1966 Cadillac Coupe de Ville. And I'm like, I don't see it. But when we get to the cemetery and um, we stop at the first graveyard, and I'm sorry I didn't bring my iPad because I've actually got the picture on my iPad. And she shows me the picture, and now she's in this, this panic, like she's shaking. And the photograph is myself standing here, here's the group, and right over here is, is the shadow of a human figure, uh, sort of like following us and checking us out. And so, as far as, you know, that feeling and having to stop doing what I'm doing, no. Wow. It, it's always going to be a different situation every always, time. You know, the, I don't, want to, I don't want to use negative terms, but I'm more concerned about stupid people on my tours than I am about ghosts and spirits because people tend to want to do stupid things, you know. <laughs> What's the stupidest thing someone did? The stupidest thing someone did was bring pork over the pulley. <laughs> Moron. Yes, they came with the... Uh, I don't know how they got it on the tour, but they yeah, came with a, a mini box of monopua. Really? And Chinese roast pork. Uh, I think it was from Ch Chunwa Cam. Hey. And we're, we're at the Pali Lookout, and they broke it open, and they ran down. You know that road at the Pali yeah, Lookout? Yeah. And they're like, come out, come out, come up. Uh, you know, just doing all this stupid stuff. I'm like, oh, you idiots. Where are these guys from? Yeah. I don't want, I don't want to say <laughs> that. Wow. The the initials are wow. Punahou. <laughs> <laughs> no offense. Private, private school. See, private all these school. years we was right. How's you, private school? <laughs> Never mind, private school already. We were right all along. After wow. the tour, they had to. After the tour, they had the nerve to complain that you know they tried pork over the pulley and it didn't work. And I said, that's because you idiots are going the wrong way. You have to come from the windward side this way with the pork. Yeah. God. And so they, they got kicked off the bus. The cab or the parents had to come get them. Wow. Yeah. Morons. Morons. So what, when is the, the next tour uh, coming? How, how often do you work? I'm like, uh, there's schedule-wise. Like. There's the um, Monday, Wednesday, Thursday tours. And in between okay. that are... There's a lot of people who want customized tours. You know, they want to go to certain places, do certain things. Yeah. Um, the only tour that I outright refused was um, this strange group from UH. Uh, I think they're all staying in the Mokihana dorm. <laughs> uh, wanted to do a traveling Ouija board tour, and I said, "No." Wonderful. Yeah. No. 
And they all claim to be witches. Hey, yeah. cool. <clears throat> Hawaii version of the craft. Oh, yeah. oh they're coming. Wow. The so, craft. So when, when you get these, kind of, these, these characters that they, they come up to with these ideas, like, <laughs> how, how do you, you tell them no? Do you just flat out just get out of here? Or what, what do, you, do, you, do you just say it? Enough? If it's absolutely okay. stupid, I'll just say no and then hang up. But if I can see that they're sort of confused or not yeah. really understanding, then I explain to them, you're stupid. Yeah. So you know you made it as an idiot. <laughs> yeah. When you have a pocket, just saying you're stupid. Click. Yeah. Right. <laughs> so, guys, so any other questions you have for Lopaka? Before? No, I just uh, look forward. So um, let, let the people know how, how we can yeah. sign up for tours. Uh, uh, website. Mysteries-of-y.com. There's also a YouTube channel. Of yeah. That. <laughs> That's something, too. Check that out. Yeah, I, I had to record those videos at 4 o'clock in the morning because it's the oh. only time my house is quiet. So if I look deadpan and not enthusiastic. You had that look, so it works. It, yeah, it, that's why. Keep that going. Keep 4 in the morning going. It and with, if it's within mm. reason, you will customize a tour. If it's within reason. Yeah. Right. Um, and, you know, if you want to go to places where uh, the family members of people who've passed away are still alive, then we're not going to do that. No, for me, it was, I talked to you about it before. Where we were talking about doing a, a, a specific Japanese obake. Uh, we, we can still do that. Yeah, yeah, that was the one I was talking about. Because yeah. that, so, that one was fascinating. Because I was being told a lot of Japanese right. obake ghost stories when I was growing up. So Yeah, somebody just requested a tour about curses. Oh, wow. Yeah. yeah. Places where curses are done and how yeah. to put a curse on somebody I work with, that kind of stuff. I think Aaron's interested wow. in learning how to yeah, curse people. Uh, <laughs> I'll bring a book. And we, I'll, I got a marsh pen. Well, he curses. He curses a lot of people. I, I got a pen. I got a pen and paper. Wow. So we're, we're in Japanese. <laughs> Who is that? <laughs> <laughs> she, she's ready. All right. <laughs> She's ready to put a curse on somebody? Some, yeah. Someone's, yes. There's going to be curses going on. The craft. It's a lot of the people craft. cursing, too. The craft. <laughs> where, where, what the, the Obake tour? Let's get back to the, where were you going to have this? Uh, what locations are we talking about here? This, the Japanese Obake tour? With, uh, well, no, but you can customize it. It, basi- right. it would be based on whatever I would tell Lopako, like, you know, where, what would be the, the areas or that you okay, have gotcha. the, okay. where the stories would be personally based. Personally for you, okay. And he would it. customize it for you. So you, you know, and then you'd. you'd I'm sure you would negotiate the price with us based on where we have to go and where we have to actually travel, right? And he has the bus, so like we've jumped yeah. in the bus and we all go together. And yeah, yep. Well, b- before you go, Lopaka, one more thing. Uh, we haven't discussed a certain area that uh, our, our musical conductor is dear to. The place of the town who, of Kailua. Wait, who, who's the musical conductor? The, the, the DJ Freeze. The gentleman yeah, behind you. We ask ourselves that every week as well. But right. so he is from Kailua, right? Scariest thing to happen in Kailua, oh, or, or one of the top. But yeah, I gotta go home. What you mean? <laughs> <laughs> it was uh, it was actually on on Alva Street uh, oh. when Randy's Drive-In used to be around, oh, yeah. and I was in line ordering my cheeseburger and fries, and the woman behind the counter was was she was swamped. She was frazzled, and so when I ordered my food, and she she said, "Okay," and you know, I paid for it. She bought out this, this plate lunch, and she said, you know, baby, can you do me a favor? She said, you see that old Hawaiian lady sitting over there? And I looked, and the, there's an old Hawaiian lady sitting down. She goes, can you go bring her this plate of food? I said, yeah, yeah, okay. And then she says, oh, and after you give her the food, you know, say thank you. I was like, oh, yeah, sure. So I gave her the food. I said, Tutu, here's, here's your ma'ai, you know, mahalo. And she looked at the plate like this and looked at me and smiled. And I went back to the counter, and I said, oh, is that... That's your grandma or something? And she goes, no, that's Pele. I said, what? She goes, that's Pele. She comes here sometimes and I give her food. And I turn around and there's nobody sitting there, but the plate of food is still on the table. Wait, you live on the other street? No, but I live near there. Kailua! Kailua, yep. Cheering for Kailua. Well, go figure. Then the Howley's came. It's about time. (laughs) Yeah, Yeah, then the Howley's showing up. (laughs) Hey, Pele approves of the howling, so shut up. Hey, all right, there we go. <laughs> Finally freeze with authoritative. Lopak, we'd like to thank you uh, very much. For coming. <laughs> you, you can. Go ahead. Thank me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, thank you, everyone. Lopaka Kapanui. Mistress Hawaii is the tour. 
Check this man out. It's excellent, excellent storytelling, excellent touring. MysteriesHawaii.com is where we're going to find. Mysteries Hawaii uh, Instagram. It's Instagram, right. YouTube, Facebook, Mysteries of Honolulu. You had clothing as well. Was there, did you come out with a, 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 sh a while ago, like a, like Obake shirts or theme shirts? Was that something? Was yes. Merch. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we have the, we uh, the Inugami shirts and yeah. the, uh, the, uh, the Pono shirts as well. Uh, we're coming out with one now that is a lava flow. And in between the lava flow, you see one eye. And that shirt is because Pele, that's why. Ooh, wow. That's what it's going to say. Pele, that's why. That's, hashtag, that's trending now. All right. <laughs> Lopaka Kapanui. Halloween. This is it. The fourth annual Halloween special. This is it, Sky. This is it, Freeze. Thank you, everyone, to be uh, at the Highbrow for I being scared, here. I scared. You scared. Everybody scared. <laughs> Everybody scared. scared. Hopefully, we have a job the next day. Thank you to the Lord. Hey. I tell you what. Yes. Sleep tight. Go <laughs> around.